Good evening and welcome to the Petaluma Community Access Board of Directors meeting for Tuesday, April 16th, 2013. Will the secretary please call the roll? Yes, Cindy Thomas. Here. Eric Adams. Uh, Matt Pearson. Oh, he's going to be late again. Oh, okay. clearly. <laughs> For the record. <laughs> and so Jason know. Davies, myself, I am here. Neil Fishman. Here. Uh, Rachel Moran. She's gonna, not going to be here. Okay, George Utrila. Here. Utrila, sorry. Mm -hmm. Hey, George. And uh, Tim. Here. So we'll see. Nice. Okay. We have quorum. Okay, so is there anyone here tonight that would like to speak during public comment? You know. Okay, seeing none, uh, we will uh, see if there's any modifications to the agenda that we need to make. Obviously, since the... Comments and announcements. Hmm? Comments and announcements. Oh, directors, comments and announcements. I'm sorry. Do do I don't want to rob you guys of the opportunity to... Uh, hmm plug the city or anything. I mean, make an announcements. Well, I, I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce you to Marsha. Oh, you're right. Okay. <laughs> and we yes. got the order wrong. Marsha is considering uh, joining the board, so be on your good behavior. Okay. <laughs> That's good. And I think a few of us. You met Marsha before, didn't you, Jason? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, during the interviews, yeah. Okay, good. And, and you have your... Um, I do. I have application. If you want to give that to Jason, sure. he's the senator. Nice. Sure. That's great. There's a there for everybody, I think. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Should I distribute this? You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. meeting uh, consideration of your application. Okay. Mr. Secretary. Yes. <laughs> I never heard Jason so quiet. Okay. So, are there any other uh, comments or announcements? No? Good to go. Okay. Um, since we, we don't have butter and egg, uh, on the agenda, I see it's kind of there was a committee we wiggled into outreach and development. Are we going to are we going to talk about that? Yeah. Okay. All right then. Uh, seeing no one else has any comments or announcements, then now we can move on to agenda approval. Is there any modifications to this besides moving the treasurer's report into the middle like we always do? <laughs> Why do we have to move the treasurer's report? Because the treasurer's late. Oh, I'm sorry. The usual. <laughs> <laughs> this will be fun. We can play this on April Fool's Day next year. <laughs> okay. We could probably play it next month. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Does anybody want to make a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. Second. Okay. Is there anyone who... Objects to this? Okay. Minutes or the agenda is approved. Uh, let's see. Has everyone looked at the minutes of the March 19th meeting? And if so, are there any corrections to the minutes? Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Any abstentions? Abstentions. Okay. Okay. Um, Neil abstain. It wasn't there. It's okay. Okay. Treasurer's report. Matt? Matt's not here. Matt? No, Matt. Okay, we'll hold off on that. Uh, John, do you have a, a lovely yeah. executive director's oh, report? I got a one. <laughs> cool. I had to make a little so I keep track of it all. So, uh, we have. Um, a new employee, we've hired Steve Diteski to 
be an access assistant to uh, reinforce our pool um, with Max back here, covering meetings and uh, and field productions. And we are also in the process of replacing Adonai. I sent you all an email that Adonai is moving on. He got accepted at UC Santa Cruz, but he's waiting to find out if he gets accepted at Davis, so we can make a choice. Right. Um, mm -hmm. This is, um, we didn't get as many applications because I'm getting better at making the job posting and it's more precise. We have 11 applications for them, good. Um, but I wanted to put before the board whether bilingual front desk service is necessary. Um, speaking to Adnai, he doesn't use Spanish that much. Um, I, you know, I've always been a believer in the tradition, and it, you know, it's a it's a marvelous gesture to that community. But um, it would give us a wider range for hiring for this position. I have two good people who are not bilingual. Maybe they'd be willing to learn. That's just my setup. I thought Kate Wood was bilingual. No? No. No. Smatter Kate was. Spanish. Yeah, she was. Kate had a little. She, she was really? schooled Spanish, not okay. street Spanish. Caitlin. Um, do I take that as a cent? <laughs> yeah, I mean, because okay. if we need an interpreter, we can always call George in the middle of the yeah. night, you know? There we go. Yeah. Which oh, is right. during I'm the up day. The street. That's not my term <laughs> risk. The station's <laughs> not open in the middle of the night. Okay, well, well the middle of the night for George is, is during you know? the day. Oh, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> yeah, that is my He's an artist. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's, oh, that's right. right. I mean, what's the nature of the position? <laughs> it's the front desk position, which is mostly reception, but there's a lot of uh, membership um, management. Uh, the front desk person, we call it, the position is called membership coordinator. It takes care of the members' uh, database, relations. Um, is very um, much involved in the election process, preparing the lists. Uh, also has a very high um, profile job managing the city meeting coverage, uh, making sure that somebody's on call to do those, uh, those meetings. Um, there are other, other jobs, and it's not really a job that we've tried to fill with a, a media person, because it can be frustrating after a while, because they're kind of locked to that seat. And it's also an anchor position, somebody who's there for almost all of the open hours. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a personality and a continuity. Um, you know, it's following up with check-in, check-out, um, late fees, uh, answering questions on the phone, fielding that. Uh, and I've been great. And traditionally, this has had a bilingual requirement or a We've made preference? It preferred. Is it pre yeah, it's, it's preferred. preferred. It, you know, we, in uh, maybe Five, six years ago, we had a very active Latino membership. I mean, what, what about the idea of if you've got, you know, multiple very well qualified applicants, that could be a consideration? Yeah, definitely. If they can speak Spanish, that would help. Them yeah, up. but not a requirement. I'll just leave it that way. Like that. So I will be um, calling the applicants tomorrow and setting up uh, interviews. Um, next Tuesday. We think we're going to do it in the morning next Tuesday. Because I'd really like Caitlin to be there and Adonai if you can. Um, if any board would be able to join us, you're welcome. It'd be good to have one board member, please. Could you be free? Uh, what the day? Tuesday uh, next week. Yeah, actually, I should be able to be around. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. I'll send you. <laughs> I will then. I'll send you a. Yeah. <laughs> Because what, what we do is we, we give each one a half hour, we put 15 minutes in between, okay. and we try to get three or four. So it's a four hour block. Okay. Of, and it's good to do them all at once, then you've got comparisons, and we can make our decision right. Right, right after. Okay. Great. The studio build out is going uh, gangbusters. We got the sliding glass door in, the curtains have arrived, the railing is coming, Zach is busy buying equipment for the studio, and we should be painting this weekend or next, maybe both. We got to do a primer. There's not that much to, to prime because mm -hmm. the glass door fills up almost the whole gap. Um, and uh, it would be nice when we get that if the subcommittee met again, so we could go through Zach's shopping list and see yep. what you what I Jason could donate. <laughs> um, we're going to have an article in the Press Democrat Sunday. 
Katie Watts called up out of the blue and came over and interviewed Caitlin, Zach, and I. And the photographer was here today and is yes. going to be running in the Sunday paper. Nice. Awesome. How about the new office and the expanded? Well, she, yeah, she may have heard some of that. I'm not sure. Um, you know, her son Ricky is uh, in the big, heaven big now. shot now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he painted the Phoenix. Uh -huh. and, uh, and I, you know, when I was at PCA in 2000, her other son David was was a user. So uh, we got along great. Um, it should be nice, nice spread. I have some handouts here. They, Caitlin's been busy. We've got, I call them talking points. Um, pass those out. And, um, give her a question. We've got the 10, re 10 top reasons to become a member. And we've got on the back, we've got our equipment. A little blurb on the equipment. And she's going to be making those little posts. These are going to be reduced to two sided postcards. We're going to make 500. A bunch of them at the other. Awesome. I can read this off throughout the show. My yeah, show. That'd be great. Just kind of because I, I always yeah. just kind of try to play this. The ten top points was actually sparked by uh, Pat Lumber Peter as a show, and he yeah. asked us to kind of do that. So oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah these are talking show. points. This is just for us, right? Yeah, that's for you. Mm -hmm. There's two errors in it changing tomorrow. So oh, we're talking about the thickness of the paper. You can see through. Yeah. Oh, no, they're going to be postcard size, postcard paper. Shrinked. Shrinked. Oh, yeah. These are for those of us with bad eyes. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, next on my uh, list of topics, uh, we did not get the Petaluma Community Foundation grant. Um, they needed to disperse their grant money to core needs like food, shelter, and medical. And uh, I don't know if you've heard, but COTS is laying off a lot of long-time employees. It's rough out there for the other nonprofits. Are they the ones that receive the grant? They've been a, a, a regular receiver of that grant. They're, they don't give it all to one, but they really have a a policy of long-term support. They don't just give one and move on, and they get involved with the organizations. Um, we're glad they got Graduation it. coverage, we were considering dropping that service this year. Um, it was an idea that really struck me when we thought we were losing Zach, because he's the, the mainstay. Um, and we were having difficulty getting productive dialogue with the schools, you know, requesting to be in the programs and then not, and then printing up inserts that didn't get inserted. So we wanted to get some more attention. That didn't really play out, but Zach has gone around to the schools and Zach really insisted that we, you know, he believes it's an important service. So we'll be doing them in, at the end of May. Also in May, Dan Vilava will be teaching another session of Final Cut Pro 10. That's May 8th, 15th, and the 22nd. That's uh, $60 for the three classes and membership is required. Do we get a discount for being a board member? I think it works. Yeah. Good. We'll just double the price. That's <laughs> that sounds good. We have some upcoming activities. We got the Aquas Film Mixer um, next Tuesday night, and it would be very important for the board to have a presence there. This, these mixers uh, attract uh, anywhere from 20 to 50 people, um, media people from the area. Uh, there's a lot of uh, out-of-work Lucas people that are going to be coming. I know mm -hmm. that for a fact. And uh, John Crowley does a great job. They do like speed dating where you go off on a table with three other people and you each have a minute to make your pitch. Tell them who you are. It's exciting. It's also very hard to hear. It's very loud. Caitlin's got uh, you know a little presentation to make and it's $10 at the door. I hope you can make it. We're launching our POV screenings, POV, that's point of view. It's a PBS series of high-class documentaries. Um, this one, the, oh, uh, the, the premiere is on Wednesday, uh, May 1st at 6.30, it's free. And we're gonna be showing Sweetgrass, if you've ever heard of that movie. It's a documentary that's won some awards. I actually saw it in the theater. I paid to go see it. Uh, it's a documentary about um, herding sheep over the mountains to, uh, and it's cowboys and sheep 
no dialogue, no narrator. Oh, it's a lot of Bob and them. cowboy talk. Talks. And frankly, the machines are more intelligent. Uh, then we've had a giant yeah. steps event. I've been floating a lot of email about that. That's the, um, it's called the Who's Who Review. Giant Steps is the local nonprofit that um, does therapy with horses. Uh, and we had just done a, a half hour documentary that's airing now. It will be, be in the Thursday programming blast. And we've got signups. We've uh, got Neil, George, myself, Zach, and uh, who else? Jason, did you say you wanted to be in it? You said it was a good idea. <laughs> Come on. We've got Cindy and Jude Neon also said she'd join in on the fun. What Remind me what this is. Okay, this is a karaoke night. Oh, right, <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, no, of... I don't do karaoke. No, but we're doing air guitar. No, that I don't do air. I'm a guitar player. Don't plug it in. I'm I'm philosophically <laughs> opposed to air guitar. Okay, I, <laughs> I can't do it. They had this. They had this. They had the same. Be really good at. I'll this, play real guitar. They had the same resistance from Tom Gaffey. He said, "No way, I'm a musician." Yeah. So they got him to be MC. <laughs> okay, so you're not in. Okay, but Neil, I'll play a George, real guitar. I, and Cindy are in. <laughs> Sorry. And turn the sound off. I, I know I'm okay. good. We will be doing. What's the song? Do We're going to be doing backup from for two guys from the Rotary Club. We're going to do the Blues Brothers. Just one. Easy We're stuff. playing the Let backup play. band. We're the backup. <laughs> <laughs> how, how come no women in the band? I'll take a real solo. How's that? I mean, an actual. You, I'll put you in touch with. No, I don't <laughs> did think you, did, did you say it was Soul Man? I think it's going to be Soul. Man. I can you jam on that. that. <laughs> Four chords. Sorry, that's how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. Okay, so I will, take this, I will take this off. Got him on film. I couldn't get any new new um, players in the prime time backup band. PCA's prime time backup band. Um, there will be rehearsal on Friday the third. That's rehearsal. A, that's a full rehearsal on stage with everybody, and they like when on the third. On the third, Friday the third. What time? What is this for? Oh, wait a minute. So you're actually singing, or is it lip sync? No, it's. Just, just back up. It's, it's karaoke. You know what that is. Yeah, but that's what you usually well, karaoke sing. singing. Well, that wouldn't be karaoke. We're just the guys up front back singing. We're the backup. So what do we do? Well, I could air guitar. I could do it. Awesome. We'll see. I'll go to the rehearsal. We'll Please see. don't back out because this is rolling. Also, <laughs> it's my, did, it's did my you first John doesn't want to be the only right, one right, showing up. <laughs> did you say what time on the third? Uh, let's see. I didn't bring that material. Um, well, I just need to know. I think I you said eight to eleven. Off work. I don't think so. Okay, so I'll just carry my calendar to from I'll, six o'clock. I will confirm all that with her tomorrow. I'll get you an email. Okay, it's I'm holding six o'clock on, but let me know okay. if I need to go further. She would like to get a, a group uh -huh. rehearsal just by number at our convenience prior to the third. Now there is a, a possibility that we could take part in a sponsorship to cover the hard costs. They're trying to get $500 from each act. We're partner acts, and we're actually the backup part of the Rotary Club. <laughs> so the well, Rotary Club would have to. <laughs> but wait a second. We get our logo in the main program. We get a listing in the newspaper. We get on the jumbo screen during the performance. Uh, we get the, our logo on the commemorative video. We get verbal recognition, the PCA backup band. And this and is at the Marin Center, center. right? But what is this event? Uh, I'll give you the it's, it's so long. Who's the benefit? The giant it's steps. Crazy. Do you know what giant steps is? No, I actually don't. It's out at the Sorry. Sonoma Horse Park. It's a an organization where they'll take um, autistic kids, people okay. who've had car accidents, people who are in rehabilitation, put them on a horse, and the horse. Actually, the, there's some really marvelous stories. Of okay. Children who okay. are not supposed to walk and are now like walking that. because they. Because so they, they got on a horse. Kind of like kid whispering. Because they got on a horse. Yeah, because they're, they're actually moving with, and the, the leg motion it, it's, and makes them it's walk therapeutic. Yeah, it's very therapeutic. And uh, Jude was a volunteer out there. She was telling these stories. We just did a video, and one of the nicest quotes in it I remember was, um, "They had a parent come up and said, oh, this is really great what you're doing. At least I know my son will smile once a week.'" 
-hmm. It's that important to these people. Mm -hmm. And we and the video it took a long time because it kind of bounced from Van to uh, to Max, and then I picked up the pieces and uh, and we had a lot of late stuff coming in from the clients. So it's going to be on the it's on the air now, but it'll be in the Thursday blurb. You can take that. And then there's the Alliance for the Community Media Conference in San Francisco. Um, I'm ambivalent about that. It falls right when we're doing uh, high school graduations, the last two or three days of May. But I think it would be really good for Caitlin to touch base with the, the national public access community. And I probably should go to meet people when we uh, represent Petaluma. It's about $500 of registration. And if any of the board members wants to go, please tell me soon because we got to get our registrations by the end of this month. What days are they this year? That would be uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, the 29th, 30th, and 31st. Of May? Of May. I don't think you can get a, a one-day pass. Uh, I'll probably go, I'll, I'll go one day maybe too, if the, that one day is the How big an event is it? They usually have them around the, the country. Uh, I've flown to one in Tucson. Cindy's flown to one in Boston. Yeah, I did the one in Boston. Yeah. How was it? It looked great. Lots of people. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of people. A lot of workshops. They have Sue Buskey usually does a pretty nice workshop. I wonder if she might do something on uh, Ditka this year. Actually, I didn't see anything in Ditka. Really? Yeah. They've already got the program out. It's a rough program. I think. There is. I think if I can give you it's a stuff. Too bad they didn't do that. Well, they have they have lawyer workshops. That's so close. So it'll come up. I'm sure. Someone should go. Okay, go? moving right along because I got two pages That's here. Three. I'm not even finished with the first. How much uh, money do we have budgeted for that? Uh, I usually put about 500 into conferences. This is going to double that if Caitlin and I both go. Mm -hmm. But um, oh, you guys are already going. I think we should. Okay. I think it would be good for Caitlin and I should go just to represent Petaluma since it's right. in our backyard. It's and it's not like we don't have the money to go over budget on yeah. that. Yeah, we're, we're doing quite well with it. So if you wanted to go, I'm sure it'd be If we'd had our financial report, we'd see that we were, you know, we had $8,000 oh. left over in our monthly budget, so we're not doing that. Um, next point, mobile streaming capabilities. Uh, that was something that uh, Eric wanted to put on the... Um, agenda. Um, Eric did? Yeah, because he, he talked to Caitlin and Caitlin had some very interesting news and um, the Sonoma Horse Park, which actually hosts uh, Giant Steps on the same grounds, uh, they have offered to underwrite an equipment upgrade if we can provide streaming video of their Grand Prix competitions, which is quite interesting. Can I help you? This um, the <laughs> Public what a, comments what a <laughs> Please state your name for the record. <laughs> this time is the, sec the secretary is noting he comes in at 729. Uh, 29. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the seconds. All right. <laughs> Excuse me, I was having an installation done in my house that took four and a half hours. Comcast? Yes. Ooh, perfect. Uh, Very nice person, excellent person. I mean, the installer, but they had a few challenges. Did you move? My no. Connection somewhere else. Anyway, I'm sorry. Off topic. Okay, so the Sonoma Horse Park is offered to underwrite an equipment upgrade if we can provide streaming video feeds of their Grand Prix competitions. They have four to seven competitions a year. They wouldn't want us to cover the whole three day event, it would just be the Grand Prix. And this is quite interesting because we were already developing streaming options for the studio. How could we get live coverage from the studio right to City Hall? It would require higher capacity DSL. Um, Helder, who donated the sliding glass doors for our new control room, had, was showing Zach and I this little box that sends Azteca TV from Santa Rosa to, to, to Texas and then to Mexico all by uh, internet. So well, it, it's well within the realm of possibility that we'll be offering streaming with a mobile um, 
package that could go out to parades and graduations. Um, I think the, the real challenge will be the, the higher capacity <coughs> for DSL. We might be able to get a deal with a provider. Um, but we're exploring that with much excitement. Um, okay, no, that's it for the director's report. Any more questions? What was the first half? <laughs> Watch the video later. Yeah, you're gonna what, love what it. What part? What didn't you hear? <laughs> uh, You'll really enjoy the video anyway. Okay. Especially the first. But part. let me let me just remind Matt that we're going to be in the press Democrat Sunday. So. Great. Hope it's good. Well. Okay. Uh, let's back up a little bit and um, take care of the treasurer's report, if you're ready, Matt. Hold on a second here. Go. After all that. You want to come back to it? Yeah, I was going to bring up the financial. Who's <laughs> doing that? Let's go to the consent calendar. No. Well, I... Right. Well, there, we is no, there are no items on the consent calendar. So, so we got time for, for yeah. the, we, have, we have a hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars as of the end of last month um, which is positive <coughs> um, I haven't received word from John that we've got any more new checks in the last week we got them all previously in February the end of February no no access fees so um, we just fin finished the quarter March was the uh, end of one quarter but that won't probably come for another couple of weeks so um, Nothing, nothing news, no finance meeting, so uh, I haven't heard any bad thing, good or bad from anyone. So, anyone have any questions? We have to wait for this. Yeah, uh, how are we as far as uh, budget? Are we on target or what? Hold on, that's another page. Sorry, I could cover for him for a minute. Yes, John. Let's get into line items. He's one of the. I had I had two questions: one from Tim and one from Neil. This miscellaneous income line five sixty looks really good. Uh, we got eleven thousand nine hundred dollars this year. I mean this month. Um, but what that really is is that's where capital expense reimbursements come back into our account. So that's money we've already spent out of operations that is really capital expense. It goes to the city. They reimburse us. And it comes back in, so it's really a non-number in the working budget. Well, the other thing is we're, we're seventeen thousand four hundred dollars over the projected budget for the year, but we haven't hit one of our annual expenses yet. No, Sorry, is it over budget? We're seventeen thousand four hundred under budget. And what income is? <coughs> so we we, uh, we have revenue is way ahead of expenses. Right, yeah. that that kind of was a result too of vacant positions and whatnot. Mm -hmm. right? uh -huh. Yeah, and. There's also a lot of uh, weirdness that goes on in our access fees. Um, because they are calculated when they're cashed, when they're deposited. So actually the, the first quarter that we count in this fiscal year was actually the last quarter of the last fiscal year. And so we're always kind of uh, out of sync with the flow of that money. So the real important number there is if you look at the budget performance, profit and loss budget performance, the middle column is the really the important one. That's the hard number of what we've gotten so far. And if that calculates um, $17,395.85. Yeah, so it's What's that? The very bottom part of that is the total net income for the period after all expenses. Yeah. Okay. But, but it appears that we're getting more money, uh, I mean, from uh, access fees, and and that we're we're even ahead of projections in terms of the new rental expense at the. At well, we, the, we had, the rental expense we knew might push us over a little bit from what we were expecting, but yeah. the the income has been higher than what we expected too. Right. You know, John and I, when we were talking almost this time last year, uh, budgeting is you know we budgeted under because we didn't we thought that you know we've been seeing decreasingly declining income amounts from the uh, from the revenue, I mean, from the uh, Comcast and AT&T checks. And the last three quarters, it's really not been the case. It's actually been increasing. Yeah, increasing about 700, 500 to 700 a quarter increase. 
Is that a big enough font for you? That's nice. This is a draft. It, and, and I, yeah, it, it, just, it just looked good from my reading of it. It's like we're, we're pretty much where we want to be. Compared to many of our neighbors, we are, we are a shining star. Yeah. So. Quite fortunate. Yeah. Now things are going to, it's going to be kind of a juggle in here because there are new expenses that aren't, weren't in the original budget. We've got a cleaning service now, $88 a month. Um, we also aren't going to be paying for the copier. That's a budget that's off the books. Well, that was half of the cleaning. I mean, that, that's yeah. a dump twice with the cleaning services. Twice, yeah. Three times. Three yeah. times. Yeah. So. And we are spending a lot of money right now with the expansion and uh, outreach. And uh, it's an exciting time. So, and I think we've got the money. This is the time to make a splash. So we all good investments. Just no irrational exuberance, please. Never mind. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, and. You mentioned that last <coughs> last year at this time we were looking at the budget. It would be nice to have a finance committee meeting before the next board meeting because I am working on the budget and activities plan. So I'd like to present all that at the next meeting. So maybe. Uh, okay. Who's going to coordinate the finance committee meeting? I'll do my job. Okay. Great. Okay, we're back on track. There are no items on the consent calendar for tonight, so we'll move to reports of committees. Uh, the executive committee has not met since the last board meeting. Uh, finance committee uh, has not met. Uh, nominating committee did meet. Well, it was kind of a... It was, it was Eric and I meeting to yeah. get some groundwork done for you. Right, but I think... Okay, uh, item 11B will take care of what was covered in that yeah. offline meeting. Okay, um, policies and procedures, no meeting, outreach and development. Who wants to report on that? George and Jason. Are outreach. There? That was the one where we were talking we about the. Um, but flyers mm -hmm. and, and oh right 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 and right. the banner the banner yeah 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 Eric was there too that was that yeah, yeah it was a fairly was... fairly brief meeting we discussed uh, the banner requirements for the parade and business uh, cards business cards um, gave a little bit of feedback uh, Kate pretty much had a had a good design already there you go. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, nice. I like that. The hats are done, the business cards are done. The wow. Ban the banner wow. is done. Wow, oh, look at that. Aren't the hats neat? Wow. Those are great wow. colors. Mine? Oh, like it's like fluorescent. You get it on the day of the parade. Uh, <laughs> you get it on the day of the parade. No show, no hat. <laughs> I got a rig it, though. I got to put the GoPro on the top. Okay, we'll figure it out. I love her it's work. Okay. Isn't it good? Metallics. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, that's it. Good. Cool. So we have, and I also I took care of the extra text to get it into the parade uh, announcer book. That's a text that they can read at the opening and close, and anytime they're at a loss between between yeah. close. That's okay. Um, I made a and Go ahead. I made a copy of it. I can circulate. I didn't have too many. Does it fit in with our plans for us being at the end of the parade? I mean, is that going to make any? Yep. No, I won't Impact hurt on the scripting? No. No. Um, let me fix this. Um, it's up. I just have two copy sheets. Of stuff. Circulate that and make sure like this. You can space it. I can read it to you. Uh, when the when the float comes by, the announcer is going to say, "Smile, you're on PCA.tv. Lights, cameras, computers. Petaluma Community Access is your new media resource center. The best place to get your hands on whatever you need to make your own TV and digital media. And what you don't know how to do, they'll teach you. Watch for the friendly PCA camera crews roaming the crowd today, and smile when their cameras find you." PCA has been putting local legends on TV since 1996 on cable channels 26, 27, 28, and UVerse 99. And then the extra announcer script is PCA.TV is a proud partner in Petaluma's favorite parade. 
They've been recording all the floats and fun for you to watch at home since 1996. And this year, Petaluma Community Access volunteers are roaming the crowd for close-ups, so smile when you see their cameras. Then go to PCA.TV to order your very own DVD of the 2013 Butter and Egg Day video. And uh, Zach, Caitlin, and I are going to be meeting with the parade organizer on Friday to anchor our camera coverage and our branding. Is that Jennifer? How far Jennifer, into it are we yeah, in the parade? New. Pardon? How far, what are, what's our? Cindy has that number. How, oh, we're at 138. So we're, we're pretty far back. Ooh, um, our, our staging time is 1030. Okay. And when you're at the beginning of the parade, that year that we were at the yeah. beginning, John, what time did we have to be there? At like 830? Yeah. So we're probably two hours. Yeah, after the beginning of the. And we're just walking behind a banner that's our idea. Yeah. But the good news about that is that we aren't going to have to be walking fast because when you're at the front of the parade, yeah, it moves really fast and the end kind of just. Yeah, right. So it's going to give us time. We were practically running when we were at the front of the parade. Yeah, really? Yeah. Joe's by quick that way. <laughs> so anyway. Did, did, well, do you. Did we decide, do you remember what we decided on the, are we doing the, the, the two banners or just one banner? We ordered that? one. We ordered one. We right? decided one, one and banner. then we were going to use either the old banner or the sign and we were going to think about a location for where it would be, you know, raised in the building the, yeah, or something yeah, right, like that. Right, right. And um, actually I have a place in mind, um, as, as <coughs> we were going to talk about, because you had some vision of scaffolding and right we had at one time yes i don't know if they still would like to do that or not we just talked about trying to get a, a camera platform higher with with a banner on it or something like that mm -hmm. or even just the banner just hanging out there just to, just to give the visual that we're there yeah i was gonna talk to my friend and see if we can because he has an office um pretty prominent location you know ryan's oh, space. Is it, is it over, look the, uh, yeah I have a friend that works, I mean, I know the manager at Chicago. Oh, that's a good location. Yeah, that's a perfect spot. Hang out together. Yeah, yeah. we hours. won't be able to get another camera. We're really tight on the cameras because we're going to need cameras on the roving crews and Zach right. needs two or three for his operation. But an extra banner, we Zach would like to put us closer to the judging stand down by the uh, Mystic Theater, Old Chicago. Mm -hmm. So if that's where we are, that would be a good place to, uh, mm -hmm. to have it. Otherwise, we might get our big banner um, on the judging stand. I'm not sure how far we can go mm -hmm. with this. Okay. We'll talk to Jennifer and yeah. find out how far she's going to let us go with yeah. our... But I like Jason's idea of just a, um, a tall building on the parade route with PCA on mm -hmm. it. Yeah. It wouldn't hurt. So the question is what building... Um, He's on Western. Uh, what is that? Western. It's where the Water Street um, mm -hmm. Bistro is. What's the name of the uh, building? Oh, that'd be it's a good they building. called the Yellow Office Builder. Yeah. Because that might actually show up in our shots. Mm -hmm. If we're not we'll right in front of the Mystic mm -hmm. and we're aiming that way, we'd see it. Yeah. It'd be a one. You could put it in one of the corners. If, it depends where it is. Well, let's talk offline right now. Before Friday. They were doing the confetti cannons during the. Uh, little oh, that's. Are nice you guys done with your report? <laughs> yes. Okay. But I do want to also add to that that there was some, uh, after that meeting, some offline uh, work happening uh, through email on the design, and right. which was really positive, and on the hats. The hats came secondary to that meeting, and so everything came out good. Good work. And I just want to remind you all, I did send an email. I won't be there by the next day. I've got a personal obligation friend passed away that is very close to us. And I excuse her to hear that. He was an artist. So you won't be I, at Notre I told him he could have the day off. He'll get your coaching and counseling soon. Yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Item 10, old business A, 10A. Discussion and possible action regarding promotional strategies. 
from Mr. Bertucci. Yes, I just wanted to say that it's become obvious to me and most of our staff that we're not going to be able to pull off an open house before the summer. We're too engaged in the studio build out. Uh, we've got graduations, which we might not have done. Uh, I think we should concentrate on a major celebration for the members meeting. And I think we'll do better because then we really will have a, uh, a finished office to show off. And I think this summer is the um, um, last shot to really uh, take advantage of the Little League buzz. So the business uh, community campaign, um, can I request each board member to prepare two business targets for me to approach for a business sponsorship? You may recall I mentioned this a couple of meetings ago. Mary at Summit Bank has offered to make a list of 10, make 10 approaches for us but she had a, a clause attached. She said, if the board can do the same. <laughs> oh, matching contribution. Yeah, she will match your thing. So <laughs> what I'm saying is that each of you could have two businesses in the community that you could prep for me to walk in and pitch. That, that prep would be a personal contact, a cover letter saying, you know, I am on the board and I'm working with this great group and John Bertucci is gonna come and see you. Mm -hmm. If we have that, it sets it up in a whole different framework because it's tough out there. I've tried hitting these people up they, you know, How much money are you looking for from these groups? We do um, business sponsorships. It's a whole program from 1000 to 3000 And if at 1000 you get uh, six months of a billboard on the air thanking you for your support of community television. 3000 you get a year, and you get it on two days. So, it, you know, you get, I've got all the numbers. It's a well-worked-out scheme. And, you know, we've used it on a scaled-down version for in-kind. Um, the banner and the business cards, we got half price, and what we're going to do is we're going to put their, we're going to thank them on the bulletin board. Uh, so that's kind of uh, my pledge to you, is if you each give me two targets, I'll go. And I'd like to do it this summer kind of systematically, so that if I, you know, when I get my eight rejections, I don't feel up, and I've got a momentum. And Mary is serious. She, she's very well connected to the community, and she will trumpet us. She likes us. So that's it for promotional strategies. Okay. Did everybody hear that? Yes. Homework. John gave us homework. Okay. Whatever's easy. Whatever's easy. Yeah, need a lawyer. <laughs> 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 Put a good toilet there. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, we're going into new business already. Eleven A. This discussion only of modifications to the city agreement for annual financial reviews. Okay, to recap, um, the board changed our bylaws to permit annual reviews instead of annual audits. Uh, the annual audit cost is um, pretty high. Um, Cindy and Tim and I met with city manager. No, actually, Tim and I met with city manager. So uh, uh, the city manager, John Brown, is agreeable to our request. Uh, and we worked out a plan that would be audits on the second and fifth year of a five-year contract for agreements and financial reviews on the first, third, and fourth. And the next question was how do we modify the agreement that's existing? Sean Brown uh, suggested I prepare a draft of a side letter that can be attached to the agreement, modifying that requirement. I submitted the, the side letter last week and I got an email that he was going to uh, give it a hard look this week and we should, we should have this uh, effective for the next uh, annual uh, financial statement to the city, yeah. which is usually done in August because they really want all of the statements for the fiscal year to come to rest and they don't all come in until the end of January, uh, July. So we'll be ready for that if, if it moves through the next stage. So that's basically a report and it's great. Is that it? That's it. Sweet. Okay, the next item under new business, 11B, discussion and possible action on the 2013 election calendar. 
and uh, con an appointment of election inspector, if we so choose. Um, first of all, um, when I talked about the nominating committee kind of meeting, it was John and Eric, and they sent me an email with uh, their predictions for the election calendar, and I plugged them in. And here's what they look like. And as far as I can tell by checking all of the uh, bylaws, language um, I think we're in compliance the bylaws if you look on the calendar over to the side of each month uh, gives a descriptive of the highlighted uh, day on that month with uh, for instance May 21st it says uh, board meeting last day to appoint inspectors of election and that's bylaws 8.03 so it's, it makes it easier to follow if anybody challenges us, which hasn't been the case for a number of years. We've been doing really well. And um, the second part of this item, uh, uh, appointment of an election inspector, we do have a uh, Jude Mion, who has agreed uh, once again to be our inspector as she was last year, if, uh, if that's what we would like to consider, yes. uh, which would mean uh, we could be well ahead of the game. Instead of waiting till May to appoint the inspector, we could go ahead and do that now and have that out of the way. So. Nice I would to do that. No, it's not. Okay. It's not. Okay. No, it's in the same item. Discussion only. Doesn't say. Discussion Part on possible public action public, yeah, so on 2013 election yeah, calendar okay. and appointment of election inspector. So I would make a motion to appoint Jude. Okay, well, all right. First, let me ask, are there any, is there anything that you feel that needs to be uh, changed on the calendar? Can we go ahead and approve this calendar then? Okay. Um, motion for the... Uh, to appoint Jude. To appoint Jude Neon as our election inspector. Correct. And you made that motion, Jason? Yes. Is there a second? Second. Okay, is there anyone opposed or wants to abstain? Okay, and that motion carries. Wow, we are doing good. Okay. Who, who seconded that? I'm sorry. Neil. Do you, you, I thought Neil seconded. Yeah, Neil seconded okay. that. Neon? M I O N. Okay. Uh, next item oh, under wait, new business. Can, Pardon I, me. can I just um, point out some things on the calendar sure. that are crucial? Is that uh, it's time to start now looking for those nominees that the board, the nominating committee, is going to nominate. The nominating committee has to make its uh, presentation to the August board meeting of who they want on the ballot. Um, and that usually involves looking at the, the turnover on the on the board, how many terms, who, who wants to stay, who's leaving, um, and then uh, when we get the nominating committee's uh, recommendations, that gets approved on August twentieth. Um, then it goes into a, a ballot or a ballot that they will get on the ballot, but then we open it up with a. Uh, an announcement in, well, actually early in August, we announced the annual meeting, October 10th, and we say anybody who wants, to, who isn't nominated by the board, who wants to run, has to get a petition. So those are the key kind of mechanisms. The board goes on one track, the petitions can come on another, they come together in, uh, at the September, September 16th, the ballots go out, and uh, we count them um, on the 8th, Monday the 8th, and, uh, we announced the winners on October 10th. I don't have my book with me. Um, whose seats are up this time? Um, now, um, for George, this is just the elected members. You're elected, so you're 
You're not going anywhere. I don't know if I've got it because I was updating it. Oh, shit. I'm trying to think who would it be. It would be... I think uh, Eric is on a, an appointment that comes to Yes, he's on appointment. Um, let's see, maybe I got one. I think he said he just wanted to go year by year on yeah. appointments and he did not want, but we will check with him if he wants to be considered. Um, the one thing I forgot is my head but, but yeah, we, yeah. we need to ascertain that. Right, we might not have to throw our net too far. Yeah, especially if we uh, bring on a, a new person. All right. <laughs> have you got okay. anybody in mind? Oh, yeah, I've got somebody Have we been behaving I ourselves? I've got some piece of ice, please. You haven't changed your mind yet, have you? No. Okay. <laughs> There's still time. I know, right? You got five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anything else on that, then? Okay, we'll move on then. Uh, item 11C Discussion and Possible Action on a Revised. ED review process and um, brief history. Uh, our organization at one time required that we have a, a review process for our executive director, which was um, was kind of unwieldy. Yeah, it was yes. kind of bordered on micromanaging yeah. almost, and. Um, I don't need it. Sure? He'll get one. I could fill it out. Put my name on it. Well, do you want to look at it? I mean, you, you, you're you absolutely I thought it was really good. I move approval. Really? Yeah. Okay, so does anybody have any modifications to it? This is a massive improvement. Thank you. I'm yeah, all, and these I'll are radio it. buttons. You all you have to do is click and just type. I'll in a second Neil if you fix the Yeah, this is way no. better. I mean, was there anything that jumped out that was really? I couldn't really... open the other document half the time, so. <laughs> I think it, it covers it covers all the bases that I was concerned about. This looks like yeah, well, the other thing is, is that I <laughs> stuck that thing in there about self-evaluation because we have not even even come close to evaluating ourselves as board members, and so this is a start anyway. Because this only is the executive committee, so I don't have to evaluate myself. Is that correct? No. Everybody on the board fills one of these out. The executive committee <laughs> puts together together the, uh, yeah, the final okay. review for Nick, the job. Yeah, AKA Firex Squad. Well, everybody I still, has, I still everybody like contributes. It. I, my motion stands. Okay, so there's a motion. Is there a second? Second. Further discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Abstentions? Sorry, okay, you meant the motion? Can I just toss in the question? Who did the motion? <laughs> Neil? And then you seconded it. Okay. okay, I'm glad. Was that too quick? No, no, that was still <laughs> like, yeah, got it. Oh, and I did. No negative. I did get a just for the record. I did get an email from Eric saying, in his absence, that he was he's in favor of the um, new form as well. So, okay. Well, I'm glad everybody's happy. That was easy. Very well done. That was easy. Okay, okay then. Just, I mean, I don't know how it's gonna dovetail with this, but uh, the next board meeting is when you have to tell me you want me to stay for another year. You don't have to work out the contract for the next meeting, but you have to request. The extension is at the May meeting of my contract. Planning ahead, are we? Well, May is not Do we have to get on our knees right. or anything? So. No. <laughs> but it might require a meeting to talk about the contract. Okay, so but what I'm going to do is I'm going to resend this out to everybody minus the little water stamp draft mark on it, and then, um, and then I'll just remove the one. Off and then we'll you already did. And we will email it back to you. So these baths. Yeah, yeah. You just open the document, click your buttons, make your comments, then send it back. Just one them back. Matt wrote on his. I'm just going to put them in recycle. Yeah. We're not going to do hard copies anymore if we don't have to. Right on. Good. Yeah. Global PDF. I don't know if these are Word documents. I mean, I couldn't put it on PDF. Yeah, they can be a fillable one. You have to have Acrobat Pro. You could have cost Yeah, I know. Well, it's Word. You don't. So. I know. Okay. Yeah. So, anyway. I had a suggestion for you. Yes. 
put into a Zoom ring survey, it's password protected. Yeah, yeah. Put it into like a Zoom ring survey, it's password protected. Oh, okay. It compiles it all for you, or survey monkey. Oh, you're making it all complicated. Do we have, we don't have a survey monkey. Uh, we're cool. We can we do it for free, I can build it for you. Word <laughs> works. I need a copy of that. <laughs> or send me the Word document. Yeah. <laughs> it's easier to cut and paste. Okay. Don't make it more complicated, it'll never get done. <laughs> what? No, that raid's going to be done in the morning. <laughs> all right. Just for that. Is that all it takes is taunting you? All right. I, no, I was telling if somebody was asking it. me, I can never get Matt to answer the emails. And I go, okay, send him the email if he doesn't answer, and then you email. I know you read this. And then you usually answer right away. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. He always saves it. I know you saw this. Right along. Okay, so that's the... Um, that's the agenda, the open part of the agenda. We're going to adjourn to closed session, and I want to thank everybody for being here. Right. Thank you. Thanks for playing with us.